Hey everybody, today is September 25th, it's about 6 o'clock, it is 71 degrees, and the humidity is 87%, not too bad, could be a lot better, I got a lot done today, well, a lot of the details, uh, as I've stated in previous videos, these vent panels, these are permanently mounted. Uh, as far as I can see on the real aircraft, there's just this beam that goes from here and mounts to the bulkhead. I don't see anything else. However, in order to get mine to stay, I got a little, little tab up under there with a sheet metal screw into a U-bolt that holds it in there nicely come over here to the other side pretty much the same thing I don't like this but it is what it is maybe a finger and a half come back over here you know you got three fingers this is all straight this is all level when this is level Dimensions from this point to this point all the way across are the same. This is one of the areas that I've measured a thousand times. And I still can't figure out what happened. But if you don't tell nobody, I won't tell nobody. Because when the main panel is level, I mean, you can see that it's, it's straight with the bulkhead or parallel. So, we got those out of the way. And we also did something else. I've been doing this all day. This is great. That's sarcasm. It's not going to be fun once the yoke's in here. All right, I'm in here. I made these doohickeys. Uh, these are um, anti-shock mounts made by the Lord. They're the same diameter, the same or the same dimensions as what should be in there. They're just a little bit thicker. I think these things are 250 pound capacity. So I made that doohickey. When installing that, I quickly realized why this is built the way it is. Number one, it's got this big hole because the yoke rod goes through there. And that's what makes the uh, elevators work. But it passes all the way through. But you still got this weird frame. The reason they did that is so you can get your fingers up in there when you tighten these fasteners. Uh, my local hardware store doesn't have any hex bolts of this size, so I just went with screws. I wanted to get these. They're like 10 30 second. They're smaller than a quarter of an inch, but they look great. I'm not mad. And you got the other side over there. So when this main panel was mounted to the bulkhead, of course it's a little bit too wide over there and I can't I can't reach over there, but I can do it over here pretty well. He's flush. Now, that'll be flush. It'll be just perfect. Main panel doesn't have to come up, but barely any to be uh, perfectly level. But that'll just slide in there. It'll be perfect. That way you can pick up on the main panel and pop it out, and these two vents will stay exactly where they are, and they'll have the burlap sacks that attach to the back and then run down to the ventilation fans in the floor, which I must definitely intend to uh, reproduce because I can't wait to get these fans working. Uh, I'm going to focus on mounting the combing, getting it permanently up here. Try to see. I know that this plate lives right here. 
Um, I don't have an actual picture of it, just something from the uh, illustrated parts breakdown, but it supports the two T-boxes that live up here. I need to make the um, the brackets that the, or the mounts that the T-boxes go in, and they bolt to that. And then I think there's some kind of an armature that goes like that that's gonna hold the plethora of um, white light, infrared lights, or not infrared, but uh, white and red lights for this stuff. The infrared lights are, they mount like there, there, there. And there's another one that mounts right there. And of course the infrared causes the, um, the photoluminescent paint to glow at night. That's how that worked. But just working on the details. Waiting for nice cold weather to start so I can build the flight deck floor. I'll see y'all next time.